So let's put ourselves in an airplane. Whatever you fly, use it. Okay, helicopter, same thing for Elliot. Okay, there's four of you on board, whatever airplane you've got in your mind. We're at, we'll call it 3,000 feet. We don't go higher because the clouds are right above us. And we're, we didn't basically plan to, but we're gonna have to go direct because we run out of time. If I don't get there, we're all gonna get fired. You know the deal. So instead of going around, which we should, we're going straight across on wheels or on straight skids. So we're halfway across, we're at 3,000 feet, we're in the beaver, and all of a sudden it's going blah, 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 and you're smelling something, you look at the oil pressure, it's down, head temperature's way up. So there's same scenario in a helicopter as the beaver or whatever you're flying. 3,000 feet, we got an engine problem. What are we gonna do about it? Okay, well, we're talking. We're saying, well, guys, you know, this isn't a bad situation yet, but I want you to put on your life vest. If not, at least put them inside your jacket. Rip them out of the bag first, because in water, they're real slippery to open the bag. So put it in your jacket or put it on. Okay, if you're putting it on, make sure it's done it proper, and that you put the tags in your pocket so they're not hanging all over the place, and your belt's back on proper, facing outwards, okay? So we do all that. 3,000 feet, boom, the engine up, and just kaboom, quits. Big smoke out the front, piston out the top of the cow, blah, 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 okay? <laughs> so for the beaver, aviate, navigate, communicate. Aviate, what's the first thing you do in the beaver? So we've aviated, navigated, we're going to a, an island right out there, cool. So we swing 30 degrees, shh, go to the island. Now communicate, mayday, mayday, mayday. I got a problem, what do you say? Keyword, because the engine will not restart, it, like it's over. You say engine failure catastrophic. Why do you say that? Because out of the controller comes back, he has a little checklist or sheet and it says, are the mags on? Uh, fuel selector, you're in the beaver, okay. Have you got the selector in the right tank? Maybe it's dry, blah, blah, they'll ask you questions. You know, so be explicit. I have an engine problem, it's catastrophic, I have four cells on board, and that's that. Because then they'll send out search and rescue, and if you're way out in the bush, ch ch GPS, lat long, this is my coordinates. 3,000 feet, we've aviated, navigated, communicated. What can we do now? We're, we're descending rapidly. Doors open, thank you. If you got a beaver or anything else, roll your head over, say, can you open the door back there, please? Yeah, just do it, don't ask questions. You two over there. Okay, and then you lift up your door handle, put the door up, put the handle down, if you're an assessment. In the beaver, push the door open and put a book right underneath the bottom hinge. VFR flight supplements good as any. You want the door open so on impact it will depart. Okay, okay what else we got? Fuel off. fuel off. Yeah, it's not gonna restart. Might as well turn the fuel off. Don't turn your master off if you are an electric flap airplane. It doesn't matter, you're going into water, it's not gonna catch fire. Okay. Put down the flaps. Flaps. Now there's where the fun starts. We're flying a beaver. You would land normally, agreed? You'd never use full flaps on a beaver. No. Please never tell me that. Okay, beaver flaps go like that. They almost go in, actually, they're so low. Okay, if you're in, say, a lowing, who's flying lowing airplanes here? Okay, where would you put your flaps going into water? Well, they're the lowest part of the airframe. So if they're down, they're gonna tear off on impact. They're gone, but as well, when they leave, they will take the bell crank off the inside with it, which is about that big, and they'll rip a big gaping hole in the side of the cockpit. So you don't want that. So you leave them up. You're gonna go faster, but else, as well, you won't pitch down just for a moment, okay? Any other airplane? land it normally until you're actually in the landing phase. Then if you say, I need more flap, that's the time to do it. Don't go full flap and dive and roll dead stick. You'll, you'll discover a whole different world you've never been in before. It's called a snap roll. Okay, what now? We got all this stuff done, doors open. We got the passengers all figured out, got their belts on tight, got their vests on them. Glasses are off, how about headset? Why do you want your headset off for sure? You better believe it, right across your neck and you won't break that wire. I, I actually, I, I kind of challenged a kid in this class to break this, and they still work, and he had it stretched, but he was tough. <laughs> and I, I said, okay, you proved the point. It will break, but it would take a heck of a pull. All right, so those off for sure. All right, how about, uh, what have we got in the back? A couple of toolboxes. What's gonna happen if you have something behind you of great weight? It's gonna be windshield. It's going flight speed until it hits something to stop. So you got toolbox and things, if you throw them overboard, throw them overboard. If you can put them up front, put them up front, but tie them down before you go. Okay? All right, here's where the fun starts. We're now coming into the water. In the auto rotation, of course, it's different. You're going to come in flat, you're going to roll it to the right, and then you're upside down, and it's going to float for half an hour? Mm -hmm. no. There's no flotation properties in a helicopter. Seat cushions, maybe. We have wings full of air, we have other things. You guys don't. So it's known as soon as your helicopter goes upside down, the blades are gone, it sinks. Now, it doesn't wait five seconds, it sinks. So you got to get out in a hurry. Fixed wing, we can stay upside down on floats for a long time. Uh, wheel planes, again, don't know, it depends on the model. But in any event, put yourself in a situation where you've actually hit the water now and it's flipped, okay, it's stopped. Zero communication, the aircraft is flooded internally. So you, at that point, have no communications, talk to people, so you gotta expect they're gonna do what you've already versed them on. That's why we gotta tell them what to do. Okay, now you're upside down in the water. Step one, find the door handle. Two, open the door, grab the reference. Don't let go. Three, under your belt. Four, grab the life vest if you're not wearing one and out the door. 